Let's take a look at how to convert from one thing in metric to another thing in metric, like from kilograms to gram. What's great about metric is that when you convert kilograms to grams, it's the same as turning kiloliters to liters or kilojoules to joules. So it doesn't matter what the unit is when I work it out. This could be microjoules to joules. It's the same conversion. So that means we can have one simple method to do that. And yes, it's divided up into many different names. But the ones that are important are these ones. Mega, kilo, uh, that's the base unit, like grams or liters or joules. Uh, there's um, milli and micro. These are the important ones. Mega, kilo, the base unit, milli, and micro. And we tend to use this one a lot, so I am going to put one of those in. Basically, this chart shows you how to convert from one to the other or change from one to the other. And the idea is if I'm going from this, from milli to kilo, I'm going up towards this direction, and this tells me up, I move the decimal to the left. If I'm going from kilograms to centigrams, I'm going from kilo to centi, centi, I'm going down this way, so down we go, the decimal goes to the right. Okay? And this tells you how many times the decimal goes. If you look, one, two, three is the next one, one, two, three is the next one, one, two, three is the next one, one, two, three is the next one. This is the extra one I put in here. And there are names for all these, but they don't get used much, so I don't have to worry about it. So the best way I think to learn this is to just try. Uh, I'm going to turn 200 meters into kilometers. So meters, that's my base unit, right? The base unit is here, and I want to go to kilo. So I'm going one, two, three. The decimal is moving three to the left. So if I write the 200 here, I'm going to put some zeros here so I have room to move. The decimal is here, 200, the decimal is there, and I'm moving it three to the left. One, two, three. So my answer is going to be 0 0.2. Two uh, kilometers. 200 meters is 0 0.2 kilometers. Let's try another one. Kilograms to grams. Well, grams is the base unit. And I want to go from kilograms to grams. So I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going down three to the right. So the decimal is there at the 50. So there's my 50, that's where the decimal is. And I'm moving to the right, so I'm going to give myself some zeros to work with. And Kilograms to grams is one, two, three to the right. One, two, three. There's where it is. So it's going to equal five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four um, grams. So it's 50,000 grams. I move the decimal to the right. Let's look at microliters to liters. Micro to the base unit liters. So I'm going up. So the decimal is going to move to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. I gotta move the decimal six to the left. Well, the decimal's right there, the end of the 4,000. And I'm moving it to the left. So I'm gonna give myself some zeros because I'm working my way towards there and I don't wanna run out. And I gotta move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's equal to 0 0.004. I don't have to worry about these zeros. Um, liters. 4,000 microliters is 0 0.004 liters. Let's try centimeters to kilometers. Well, centi is that one that it's not going by three, but it's, it's one we use frequently, so let's do that. Centi to a uh, kilo. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. Five up to the left. So we've got to move it to the left. So I'm starting there. I'm going to give myself again some extra zeros to work with. One, two, three, four, five. That's where my decimal is. Zero point. Zero, 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 two kilometers. 20 centimeters is 0 0.002, uh, 0 0.0002 kilometers. And of course, you should put these in scientific notation, but that's a separate issue. Let's try this megajoules to millijoules. Okay, mega is up here, milli is all the way down here, so that decimal is really going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm moving down to the right. So uh, this six, the decimals right after that, it's going to move uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the right. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of zeros here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, way over there. So that's six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
wouldn't pr probably want to do that in a question, but six megajoules is that many micro, uh, millijoules. So just try it. Remember, up the decimal moves to the left, down the decimal moves to the right. I hope you found this useful.